All right, when you go live on Facebook using Zoom, uh, which I have another video showing you how I do this, um, you know, you, you do, you, it pops up a new browser tab and makes you go through this, uh, you know, you gotta type things out, uh, choose the right group or page, etc. And, uh, there it is, go live. And once you click go live, it loads like this for a while and this might have this pop-up thing. And then what happens is, it will start playing your own video back immediately, even though you're still recording it, right? Like this. It's playing my video back immediately to myself. And if you didn't, if you, if you didn't know this, you would be confused because you'd be hearing your own voice and you think it's an echo, but it's not. So long ago, I turned down this Facebook video player volume down here. This is not my computer volume. This is the Facebook player volume, which I think by default is probably on My like this, this but if you click on it, it'll turn it down all the way down. And once you turn it all the way down, it should remember for next time. So when you do zoom to Facebook again, it won't make it so confusing for you. The truth is you don't even need this tab open. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab and I'm going to bring my zoom back. Where's my zoom window? There it is. I'm still live on Facebook. So don't worry about that other browser tab. As long as it still says live Facebook here, you're good to go. I hope this is helpful. And that's all I wanted to say in this video.